So here it is, the Riptide. Now, it comes with a very extensive uh, rule book. Well, not sorry, rule book. Uh, what are we talking about, rule book? It comes with a very extensive uh, instruction book, I should say, on how to build this bad boy. Uh, now, there's a lot of bits and pieces here, um, but we're going to be focusing mostly, or first of all, on the legs. So, we're just going to move this out of the way and we're going to look for the pieces that we need to start off with before we cut it. But let's just take a good look at this. I mean, this is what we're talking about. There's a lot there um, to play around with um, and some immense stuff as well. And look at the size of the feet. I mean, these are huge. So this is just letting you know, this is going to be a big bad boy to build. Okay, so let's start off with the pieces that we need to cut out first. So let's just move this out of the way. And we're looking at cutting the pieces out. Now I'm gonna cut these out now uh, and then I'll come straight back to you. So I'll see you in a second. Hi guys and welcome back. So here we are. We've prepared everything, we've cleaned up as much as we possibly can. We've some, still some little bits that we can clean up, but let's wait until we've actually put these bits together. Now, what have we got? We've got, uh, from what I can see, upper thigh, uh, shin and feet and these little va uh, little veins that hang out the back and here are the ankle joints. Now there's little bits on these that we can clip off to make our posing a little bit more exciting um, than just the average standing up pose or kneeling down pose. So let's start putting these together. Now this is going to be a long and lengthy video. I do apologize for that so you can fast forward for as much as you like. Now I'm using um, Rocket Max by Deluxe Materials. You're going to say hey are you just plugging these guys? Um, I got sent a load of this product to uh, play around with and I've got to say I love it, absolutely love it. Now uh, you need a good super glue. I don't use plastic glue for these things because super glue I tend to find does the job a lot better um, and it's just my preference um, to using bits and pieces. I prefer super glue to anything else. Okay so we're just going to have to let this stick in. Now it may take a little bit of time uh, just to hold it, squeeze it as far as we can. Now you can see now where we can actually clean this up a little bit better. Now I like to use uh, one of these tools from GW and just scrape it along uh, just to take off that edge. Even though you're not going to see this bit, it just makes it look a lot better. And plus it gets you in the mindset of prepping models uh, and making things look a lot neater uh, when you're doing stuff. It just gets you started in the right vein. So if you're cleaning up stuff that you can't see, uh, it means you're gonna pay more attention to the detail and the cleaning up of the stuff that you can see, which is really good. Uh, and anybody that knows me knows I'm a very lazy model maker. Uh, and I tend to go to town mostly on my resin stuff than my plastic stuff. Okay, so here we go, that's one bit done. Um, Let's look at, we can't really stick these bits together yet until we've done the other leg. So let's get the other leg done. Um, it's a nice easy process. I've got to say, looking at the instructions, it looks like it's going to be a really easy, easy model to build. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around on the edging here. Great stuff about this is control the glue, the amount of glue comes out, so just don't squeeze and hope for the best just let out what you need now give this a really strong firm grip um, really you know to make sure that this sticks um, clean off any glue that pops out or squeezes out because we want to keep this nice nice and clean for when we're painting now okay we've got some little rough edging there again take this tool it's a fantastic tool uh, it basically just, it's like a shaver basically, and what it does is it, shave, it saves, I should say, on scalpel blades. Um, now, I never thought this would be a very good, I thought it was just like a, a con tool from uh, GW, but I've got to say, it's invaluable. A mate of mine introduced me to it, and beforehand I was just using scalpel blades, and I went through quite a few scalpel blades, but this does the trick. Nice smooth edging. Like I said, if you're going to pay detail to the 
to the stuff that you don't see, attention to the stuff that you don't see, sorry, uh, not detail, if you don't pay, if you pay enough attention to the stuff that you don't see, then you're going to really pay a lot of attention to the stuff that you do see. So there we go, that's our first bit of leg put together. Now, it does come with these little pegs here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, let's, let's zoom in a bit. So you see these little bits here? Now we're going to cut those off. Now these are just a guide to help you get the pose that you see in the magazine and on the front of the box. Let's just shave around there. Um, we're going to get rid of these because basically we're not going to need them. Because what we're looking to do is create something that's just that little bit more uh, exceptional. A little bit more different to everybody else's in pose wise. Um, it's important that you make your model different to everybody else's um, because it's much more exciting. You know, you can put a little bit more effort into it and design and the layout of it and the thought process that goes into it and it will stand out from the norm. And that's what model making for me is all about is creating something that looks re really real and unique and that's a little bit different to everybody else's. Now, let's just clean that off. Now, we're not going to see that, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's our two thigh pieces made. Nice and easy. No hassles whatsoever doing that so far. Now, we're going to move into our uh, next pieces, which are the shins. Uh, now, I'm not too sure how these go. I think it's basically um, like this. And so, oh, look at that. So you see how it curves around? That is lovely. That is a really, really lovely fit. See, I don't know why I didn't think about doing these earlier. These are really nice. Okay, again, we have this little bit here that we can cut off to give us a bit more movement on our, um, let's just focus on that, sorry, I do apologize, on our legs. It gives us a chance to pose it how we want. So, I'm imagining this fits in here. Now, if we can glue this so we still have a nice full movement in our ankle joint, that'd be cool if we can get that. That'll allow us to move it into the position that we want. So we're basically looking now at a nice piece of movement so when we come to decide how we want the legs and how we want the feet um, we'll get that beautiful pose so let's get this leg sorted out let's try and keep this as fluid as possible because that's quite important to us for the meantime so we're going to take our glue and we're just going to put a dab on there a little dab on there and a little dab just like so now we also have these bits here to think about um, and we'd like to keep those uh, the right way up of course so I'm looking at it going there so there's a lot of pieces to introduce into this so be warned you need to keep your attention on this okay I'm thinking it goes this is where something goes terribly wrong. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's focus on keeping that quite tight. So that's free. We're not, whenever I glue something, I just move this around to make sure all the bits that I want moving around to wiggle around a bit. So to make sure I don't get any glue on it. So I'm just babbling, aren't I? Uh, so I don't get any glue on it. I just keep wiggling it around so it doesn't stick. That's nice. Okay. And the same with that. That's nice because that will give us some nice little movements. And let's just clean that off. And that goes there. Okay, so look, I'm going to complete the next two pieces. We've seen how this works. So I'm going to get these legs finished. And I will see you in a second. Take care. Hi, guys, and welcome back. Okay, so we've done our leg sections and I'm proud to say that these two veins work on each one and so does the ankle joint for now. So I've not stuck this down yet because 
I need to make sure that I want to get the right position with the foot and the uh, lower leg and all the shin so to speak um, when I come to glue this down and then I can just add a little bit of plastic glue in there just to lock it into place. Now I'm going to keep this uh, uh, free, uh, I'm not going to glue this at all because I kind of like the idea of being able to have it set up and down and it's a working piece and I do believe that if it's a working piece it should be able to move on the model just in case when you do sell these on people can go oh wow, wow even made that work it's fantastic and plus you should be proud of the fact that you managed to get working parts to work anyway so enough babbling let's look at what we've got to do so we've now got our legs all completed nice and smooth as well uh, and we need to add on our shin guards now what you'll notice is that they are actually set for each individual leg so this one has the two holes in and it literally just slots over the top like so um, and we just clean that up afterwards um, that gives us that sort of nice bit of protection there um, with the ball joint now we can cut this peg off if we want but we're going to leave it in place for now um, and let's just have a look at the look at that that's really nice and we know that this piece slots in like so just there so we're going to glue this in now this is the exciting part it's all quite fun this isn't it uh, grab our glue and we're just gonna put it in there like so and in there I'm sorry if it keeps uh, focusing out it just takes a little bit of time we've got some nice strong glue going on in there so if you look basically it has little sliders that will just slot into place like so now squeeze it in let it dry you can use plastic glue you can use super glue whatever glue you like uh, like i said i prefer just to use super glue um, there we go and that's really because it tends to uh, uh, plastic glue tends to melt the plastic where if I drop this or someone breaks it, I get a nice, nice clean break. So we're just gluing that into place now. Let that set. That's that leg complete. Nice and simple, or that upper thigh complete, I should say. Uh, we'll move on to the next one. Again, it just slots in like so. It's got a little groove that's already been made for it to slot into place like so. Now this one's slightly different. Uh, on this one, we get the extra plating that just clips into place there so let's just have a look at that like so and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take our glue this time I'm going to glue the top of the thigh and then I'm going to squeeze that down into place and then I'm going to take our thigh glue joint or our glue for our thigh or up, uh, a bit of plating that goes on the upper thigh sorry God, I don't know, I'm babbling away. It's early morning, and that will just slot onto there like so. Just let that glue, and that's that. Nice and simple. Okay, so what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to glue all the legs together just yet, uh, because now we need to work on the hip section uh, and get that built. So I'll see you in a second. Hi guys, welcome back. So here we are now with the waist and uh, where the hip joints and the legs all slot into. Okay, so nice easy build on this one. It literally, get it the right way round, that helps. It literally fits in like so. So it's a nice easy put together. And you can see there's a little gap there that's left for slotting in your uh, hip joints, but we're going to cut, be cutting our slot off, uh, our little peg off, um, so we can have a bit more freedom around here. Okay, so let's get this baby glue together. So again, I'm using super glue. Uh, you can use plastic glue. Uh, you can use any type of glue you want. Now we don't want to put too much onto it, so we're being very careful and judging the amount that goes on there. Too much uh, will go all over the place. Too little, and it won't stick. And we don't want that now, do we? So we take these, you can see the little guides there that help us slot it all into place. Give it a good old squeeze. Now you can use accelerator uh, for this and you just spray it onto the model and it helps it dry a lot quicker. 
um, but we're not going to, we're just going to use the basic um, pressure that we can apply to the model because not everybody's got accelerator. Um, look at that, I'll be able to clean that away nice and simply. Just keep scraping. Okay, I'll do that later. Um, so that's looking quite cool. Now we're going to take this front plate um, and that literally slots into the place like so. Nice and easy yet again. So we're just going to squeeze out a little bit of super glue just there and just there because we don't need a huge amount. It will hold it for us. And we take our model bits that we just squeezed in there, front plate squeezed into the hip section like so. Okay, next is this piece here. Now, I'm assuming, one should never assume anything in this game, uh, it just slots on there like it does. So that's where it does go. So my assumptions were correct. Um, we're just going to put a bit of glue in there, a little bit of glue. Let's focus on that please, thank you very much. A little bit of glue just there, just a dab there, and just a dab there. And then this will lock into place like so. Now that's looking pretty cool. I'm liking this already. Okay, so we'll leave this to dry and then we'll move on to placing our hips. So if we just have a quick look at these, uh, as you can see there's a peg there already and that gives us a little bit of lockage there. So that will lock that into place just there. But we want to have a bit more freedom of how we're going to pose this. Um, so I will see you in a second. Take care. Hi guys and welcome back. Um, so this is the base that I've prepared. It's already done. I've used Deluxe Materials um, Speed Bond, which is a nice type of PVA that dries within five minutes, dries clear as well. I've used uh, cork, I've used uh, slate and plenty of sand to give me a nice sort of interesting base. Now, what have we got? Well, let me just reach over. Here's our feet and make sure the little toe is in the inside. Now we're looking for something that can just slot on round about there. And then we're gonna build our leg up from the feet upwards. Um, and that will dictate where the other bits and pieces all slot into. So that's our look just here. Now I'm gonna use accelerator for this because otherwise I'm gonna be holding it into place for quite a while. And what we need to do is make sure we've got plenty of glue on the base of the foot to go round. Now you could pin these by putting green stuff in the inside of the feet and a little rod, um, but we don't have that luxury at this very moment in time. We're building this as if uh, we don't have a lot of gear laying around. Okay, so that's a nice grip just there. I'm gonna use the accelerator. And what that does is just speeds up the drying time for the super glue. Uh, and don't be afraid, as we're not going to see a lot of the inside of this, uh, to just pour in a bit of super glue just to help it hold its footing. Because we're going to be covering snow in a lot of these areas, we're not going to see a lot of stuff. Okay, so there's our first bit, which just slots on like so. Now, this will go onto here. I say that, it should just slot into place like so. So it might even be worth us, so we get a bit more freedom, taking that off. There we go, now we've got a better hip joint, uh, ankle joint. Um, so we're gonna put that there, like so. We can just twist it a little bit, and I'll just put a bit of glue in there. Hopefully that won't be too bad. If it is, just wipe it away. And I want a bit of movement in this, so I want it to be a bit angled. And what I normally do is, if I've got too much super glue in there, I just wet a cotton bud. I just use that to wipe it away. Uh, the reason why I wet it is so it doesn't 
um, grab all the fibers out with super glue. Okay, so there we go, that's a nice little ankle pose there. So it's really stretched out and we've still got our movement there, which is nice. Okay, next step is to position our, our thigh. So that will go just there. So it's a nice outstretched, outstretched thigh. I kind of want it leaning over slightly so it looks like he's jumping to one side to open fire because that is just going to look immense. It will give us a sense of um, narrative as though something really heavy is going down that he's moving really quickly. Um, and these suits have got like jump packs so you know they're not going to be static pieces they're going to be moving around the battlefield quite quickly um, okay so I'm thinking about there that's pretty cool now I always work if I can from the legs upwards if you ever built a warhound uh, titan you'll understand where I'm coming from uh, if you haven't my god you're in for an exciting experience believe me Okay, so because we've cut our pegs off, we can literally position our waist anywhere we like on this piece. Um, we can have it, and not only that, we haven't glued um, this joint here. So we've got a bit of freedom to, to play around with. Um, so I'm thinking, lean it forward just a little bit. I mean, we could even have it at an angle if we really wanted. Actually, I think an angle would be quite cool, so let's go for that. Now, I'm going to put a bit of super glue in here, like so, and I'm going to spray the ball joint, and I'm going to tip it so it's about there. So, there we go. So, we've got a nice little pose just there, and plus, note that because we haven't glued down the ankle joint, we can actually tip this forward if we really need to which is quite nice. Now we're going to move to the other side. Now this is going to be slightly different because on this one we're going to have to uh, think about working the other way down. So we work the upper leg down to the foot um, which will give us an idea of always dry fit everything that's what I always tend to do um, just so we can see where we're going to be going with stuff and that'll fix on there like so that slots into there. Again, I'm going to clip off the little peg at the bottom of the, uh, the ankle joint, which is just, just there, and work my way out from that. And then there's our foot. Let's just have a look at this. Okay, so we've got lots to think about here. So we could actually have this just there, and let's bring that out a bit. gives us a nice, that actually gives us a nice running pose. Okay, so we're gonna go for it like that. That's the way we're gonna roll on this, a running pose. So, oh God, they're so tight. That's what she said, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm gonna try and get some of those gags in there whenever I can. This is a long video, but this is just the legs. See, like I said, you have to bear with me. This is just a build video. Um, that's kind of nice. That is kind of nice. That is cool. Okay, again, we're gonna put glue in the inside here. Like so. And we're gonna spray our ball joint. And that will slot into place just there. So here's our legs starting to get into play. So and because we've got a lot of weight on this, we're gonna have to use the back foot, which is just here um, at an angle to take the pressure off. And that is kind of nice. That's gonna give us a nice sort of strutting, coming for your pose. And let's just put a bit of glue there and just so I know I'm gonna to have to put a bit of glue underneath the toe once that's dry so let's just give it a, a spray so here we are this is what we're looking at at the moment 
moving across the battlefield. Now, if we really want to, we can actually pull this up so it looks like it's running. Um, but I'm going to use this back leg to take the weight off. Uh, so we've got a nice walking pose, which is kind of cool. In fact, I could actually bring that forward just a little bit because we haven't stuck those down. So I'm just going to add my glue uh, to the bottom of this foot. It's a bit boring for you because you can't actually see what I'm doing right now. There we go. Let's just add a bit of glue to the back of that. And let's just spray that. Okay. So here's our pose. So we've got a kind of like a running pose at the moment, which is quite good. And plus our fins are still free. So that's kind of nice. I like that. Okay. So that's the legs done. Let's move on to the next step, which is the upper body. I'll see you in a second.